If I were governor of my state or mayor of my town, I would be passing new ordinances relating to stiff criminal penalties for anyone who held a range. The promoter, the guy who owned the building. I would put the son of a gun in jail. I would change the law. I'm the guy who authored the crack house legislation. We can use the crack house legislation. There's no doubt about where these raves are. In the middle of the desert. Arrest the promoter. Find a rationale. Criminal penalties for endangering lives. You don't have to get them for drugs. Turn off the water, I put you in jail. That's the scum who should be put in jail. Not just the guy selling the pills. The guy opens up the warehouse, turns off the water, and sells it for five bucks or ten bucks a bottle because it's required. What do we do about that? Does it make sense? We certainly do need to, to look at the promoters, and, and DEA is doing that, and we've done it very effectively in a couple of We are attacking the promoters of these raves in several locations. I know you are. I'm just saying, would it make a difference for your effort if, like in Chicago, it's levying $10,000 fine on promoters of unregistered raves? That would help. It'll also help to put the promoters in jail, which is what we're also trying to do. This is not like three kids sitting in the basement trying their first marijuana or doing the coke the first time or whatever else. Now, that happens. The words you got to every parent. You find a pacifier in your 14 or 15 year old kid's bedroom. They're using ecstasy. They're using ecstasy. I would be passing new ordinances relating to stiff criminal penalties for anyone who held a rave. The promoter, the guy who owned the building. I would put the son of a gun in jail. I would change the law. I'm the guy who authored the crack house legislation. We can use the crack house legislation. Arrest the promoter. Find a rationale. Find a rationale.